Hello, I'm Sudha Jabadrai, the president of AGR International. Did you know that the reheat stretch blow molding PET process has advanced significantly over the past quarter century? Production speeds per cavity have increased many fold. Material processing weights are reduced to a similar degree. To reduce a carbon footprint and to reach a sustainability goals, the use of ARPET material is also on the rise. This high speed, lightweighted, and ARPET process is no longer a fit for antiquated manual process control methods. These manual methods for both process control and quality assurance testing will lead to lower productivity and thereby lower profitability. Are any of these below scenarios in your present or future? One, is there a need to increase production speed to increase the revenue with the resources that you have? Two, is there a need to reduce cost by lightweighting the preforms yet yielding the same high quality bottles? Is there a sustainability drive to go green, forcing you to go into ARPET? And four, is there a need to digitalize the information to reduce labor and streamline your processes? If so, think automation and digitalization. In the laboratory, Automation and digitalization facilitates quick feedback to the manufacturing operations, lowers the need for inaccurate, time-consuming, and manual methods, and thereby increasing your productivity. On the production floor, digitalization and process automation deliver increased factory productivity by controlling the processes, facilitating predictive analytics and targeted maintenance, lowering your running costs, delivering high-quality bottles, lowering your scrap rate, and thereby increasing efficiency. The only way to be successful in these driving demands is through automation and digitalization. We look forward to seeing you at the Injection, Blow Molding, and PET International Summit in Mumbai on June 26th and 27th. See you there.